We are looking at very interesting product from Loki Thor. Uh, the model is called JA301. It combines uh, the jump starter, the air inflator, uh, the flashlight and the power bank all in one relatively small package. Uh, if you ask me, I think it's a must for every vehicle and uh, I will leave the link for this product in the description. On the front of the device uh, we have the power button, I will turn it on. The next button uh, will switch between bar and PSI. On the main display we have the charge indicator. This shows you how much charge is uh, left in the battery, currently it's full. Uh, the plus and the minus uh, buttons are used to preset the tire pressure. You can choose uh, the tire pressure from 10 to 150 psi. And this is a pump button. To activate the pump you have to press and hold this button. This is the port for the battery clamps. The clamps come with the set. You can insert them only one way. This way you will make sure that you don't mess uh, with the polarity. They've been inserted like this. We will do the uh, jump start a little bit later. On the right side we have a uh, the USB Type-C port on the top. This one is used to charge the device itself. Uh, the USB cable comes with the set. And uh, below we have the Quick Charge 3.0 uh, USB port which is used to charge other devices. And right now I will connect my phone. After you have connected the phone you need to turn on the device and it will start charging the phone. Uh, the device will stay on uh, while you do the charging and uh, after you disconnect the device for example and you forget to uh, turn off uh, the Loki Thor after about a minute it will automatically turn off. Our Loki Thor comes with a 300 lumen LED flashlight to turn it on you have to press and hold this button. There are three modes, uh, the normal constant light, the stroboscopic mode and the SOS mode. If your vehicle breaks down at night or you have a flat tire Let's see how much light uh, we can get out of our device. I have plenty of light. If I need to replace the tire, I can put the lamp on the ground and uh, uh, do the replacement this way. And uh, let's take a look under the hood. A uh, similar situation if I have to fix something, I have lots of light. Uh, Right now I'll turn off the light and I'll show you again the difference. The LED lamp is currently off, that's what we see, and I'll turn it on again. This is the difference. Right now I will go through the specs of the device and then we'll check out the air inflator. Uh, the device comes with lithium-ion battery and the capacity is 20,000 milliamp hours or 20 amp hours voltage is 12 volts uh, starting current 1000 amps peak current 2000 amps pressure range for the air inflator from 10 to 150 psi uh, sensor accuracy plus uh, minus 2 psi input USB type C output USB type A polarity red plus black minus uh, charging temperature from 10 to 45 uh, degrees celsius operating temperature minus 20 to 50 and storage temperature minus 20 to 50 uh, you have to be aware that this device is not waterproof and right here we see it says the device is only suitable for outdoor 
uh, temporary use, be cautious when using in humid environment. Here we have the output port for the air inflator. Be careful, it can get hot when it's working. Uh, the set comes with a couple of hoses. And a set of needles. Uh, we have a metallic needle for the balls. Uh, we have a couple of plastic nozzles with a metallic thread and we have one adapter. Uh, let's try it out. Here I have the flat basketball. I will be using this needle with this hose. The other end I will have to connect to this port. Our basketball needs to be inflated to uh, 7 to 9 psi. In case of our device, uh, the minimum is 10, so I will have to set it to 10. Uh, currently I have 32 so I will go all the way down so I'll set it to 10 and when this is done I can press and hold the pump button It's done. Our ball is fully inflated. Right now we will perform the jump start. First we have to connect our clamps. As I said, they can only be connected one way, like this. Now you have to first connect the red clamp to the red or plus terminal and now you can connect the black one. This device is spark proof and it won't uh, make any sparks. After you have connected both terminals you need to press the power button. device will show us the voltage. Currently the battery is charged, uh, that's why it shows 12.6 volts. When you have the battery that is discharged, uh, the voltage number will be lower. But after you have done uh, the connection, now we can start the vehicle. can disconnect uh, the Loki Thor. Our front tire is a little flat. Uh, right now we'll test our Loki Thor again. So currently we have uh, 28.5 psi in this tire. It needs 33 psi. So I'll have to set uh, the device to 33. And uh, right now, again, I'll have to, again, this is the current value, 
28 and we set it to 33. So I'll press the pump button again, press and hold. Once it reaches 33 psi, it will automatically shut off. Alright guys, our review is complete. One more time, this is our Loki 4 and this is all the accessories that come with the set. I forgot to mention, but it also comes uh, with a carry pouch, which will fit uh, everything in one bag. Uh, overall, I think it's a great uh, multi-purpose product, uh, which I will definitely put in my vehicle. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and uh, we'll see you in the next one.